Welcome to Vacation Limitless, where the possibilities are endless. Today we're off to Colombia, where beautiful jungles meet pristine beaches. Dynamic towns come to life, and history and culture weave together to form an enthralling tapestry. Colombia is more than simply a location, it is an experience waiting to be discovered. The nation provides a diversified scenery that will fascinate your senses. From the tropical beauties of the Caribbean shoreline to the harsh peaks of the Andes Mountains. Let's go on a journey together. 1. Cartagena. Cartagena has a distinct position in Colombian history, with its cobblestone streets and beautiful colonial buildings. This coastal jewel, founded in 1533, was a vital port for the Spanish Empire, keeping goods from South America and the Caribbean. The city's defensive walls were designed to keep pirates and invaders at bay, and they are now a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Stroll through Old Town, where Bougainvillea draped balconies overlook lovely plazas. Visit the Castillo San Felipe de Barajas, a majestic stronghold that formerly stood guard over the city. The Palacio de la Inquisición, which bears testament to a grim past of religious trials, should not be missed. To beat the heat, come to the pristine beaches of Playa Blanca for some Caribbean tranquility. Make the most of the heat by staying hydrated and applying sunscreen. Bargain at local markets and try local foods such as arepas and ceviche. 2. Medellin. The history of Medellin is a story of transformation. Once known for its high crime and violence rates, the city has made remarkable progress in recent years. Medellin's commitment to social progress is epitomized by the Metro Cable system, which links the city's poorest neighborhoods to the downtown area. Check see the strange sculptures of local artist Fernando Botero at the Museo de Antioquia and learn more about the city's cultural scene. The Botanical Garden is a tranquil oasis with a butterfly refuge. Come and enjoy the lively atmosphere of Plaza Botero, where monumental sculptures by Botero are on display. The weather in Medellin is pleasant, but you should be prepared for unexpected downpours. Umbrellas and raincoats are recommended. Take use of the subways and cable cars to zip around the city. 3. Tayrona National Park. The Tayrona National Park is a shelter for flora and fauna, as well as aesthetic beauty. It is home to some of the most beautiful beaches in Colombia, with lush vegetation and crystal blue water serving as backgrounds. Additionally, the park is home to the indigenous Kogi people, who have preserved their ancient way of life and are a fascinating cultural resource. The easiest method to uncover secret beaches like Cabo San Juan is to hike the paths that the park has to offer. The pre-Machu Picchu archaeological site known as the Lost City is a fascinating place to see. Please be respectful of the park's regulations in order to preserve the natural resources and the culture of the area. Even though there are limited amenities available, camping is permitted in a few different parts of the park. Make sure you plan ahead and make your reservation as soon as it is feasible. 4. Guajira Peninsula the contrast that the La Guajira Peninsula provides between its arid environment and its Caribbean shores has earned it a well-deserved reputation as a highlight of the region. The Wayu people have maintained their rich culture and centuries-old customs throughout their time in this region, where they have resided for thousands of years. The placid seas of Cabo de la Vila are a popular destination for windsurfers and kiteboarders. The most impressive dune formations in all of South America may be seen at Punta Galinas, the most northern point of South America. Educate yourself on the way you and the work they produce. If you are planning on going into the desert, it is in your best interest to bring plenty of drink, sunscreen, and clothes that can withstand the heat. When engaging with local Wayu people, it is important to be respectful of their traditions and practices. 5. Bogota. The city of Bogota, which serves as the capital of Colombia, is an energetic center of history, culture, and the present. The Botero Museum houses the artists' one-of-a-kind pieces of art, while the Gold Museum displays complex pre-Columbian artifacts. Both museums are located in Bogota, Colombia. The historic core of the city is located in La Candelaria and is characterized by its vivid street art and buildings from the colonial era. While you're in Yusakin, Stop by the lively Sunday flea market and have a bite to eat at one of the restaurants that serves authentic Colombian cuisine. There is no better vantage point in all of San Francisco than atop Montserrat Hill. You shouldn't be shocked if you have problems breathing in Bogota because the city is located around 2,457 meters above sea level. Because of the high altitude, you should keep your speed modest and increase the amount of liquids you consume. 
Taking a cab to move around town is a choice that is both practical and uncomplicated to consider. 6. Kokora Valley. The Kokora Valley in Los Nevados National Park is a spot that visitors will find to be very stunning. The wax palm trees that are native to Colombia are the world's tallest and are considered a national symbol. Walking across the valley on foot is the greatest way to take in its stunning natural features. A tranquil ambiance is produced by the presence of stunning cloud forests, rivers, and hummingbirds. After you've finished your hike, head to a restaurant in the area and order the meal that the establishment is known for. Put on layers, because you never know what the weather will be like in the valley. In the event that it is raining, you should avoid going up or down anything that is excessively steep or muddy. 7. Tatakoa Desert the Tatakoa Desert is a captivating place due to its ochre-colored canyons and strange rock formations, despite the fact that it is not technically a desert. It is an outstanding site for stargazing due to the absence of any artificial light and the clearness of the night sky. Take part in one of the organized stargazing expeditions to gain an understanding of the wondrous things that can be seen in the night sky. You may spend the day exploring Cusco's Caves and Los Hoyos to take in the strange rock formations that can be seen in both locations. Because it is conceivable that the desert may be quite hot throughout the day, it is strongly suggested that you bring a bottle of water, some sunscreen, and shoes that are built to last with you. 8. San Andres and Providencia Paradise is a common term used to describe both San Andres and Providencia, which are both located in the Caribbean and belong to Colombia. San Andres is often referred to as a tropical paradise. These islands are surrounded by coral reefs, and those reefs are home to some of the most unique marine life that can be found in this region of the globe. Snorkeling and scuba diving are both wonderful ways to explore the geography of the depths below the surface of the Sea of Seven Colors. Both of these activities are available in the Sea of Seven Colors. Enjoy the island's mouth-watering food and interesting culture while you're there and make the most of your time there. A piece of advice. If you go scuba diving or snorkeling, make sure to behave responsibly so that you don't harm the fragile ecosystem of the ocean and contribute to its preservation. 9. Barichara. Barichara is a charming tiny town that gives the impression that time has stood still there. A landscape worthy of a picture postcard is created when cobblestone streets, whitewashed homes, and red tiled roofs come together. It is highly recommended that you go on an adventure along the Camino Real, which is a historic stone trail that runs between Barichara and Guan. The Salto del Maico provides a breathtaking panorama from its elevated perch. While you're there, you should be sure to sample some of the local delicacies and artisanal goods. Due to the peace and quiet of the environment, Barichara is an excellent location in which to unwind. It is only after spending the night there that you will be able to fully grasp the allure of the location. 10. Popayan. Popayan is sometimes referred to as the White City, and it is home to stunning examples of colonial architecture as well as a rich and eventful past. The events that take place there during Holy Week, also known as Semana Santa, are well known all over the world. In the historic core of the city, you may visit a number of museums and cathedrals. You really must pay a visit to the Museo Nacional Guillermo Valencia in order to properly commemorate a renowned poet and statesman. Taste some of the most famous delicacies that Popayan has to offer, such as the city's empanadas. You should time your visit to Popayan so that it coincides with one of the many celebrations or events that are packed into the city's packed cultural schedule. Did you enjoy this trip? Colombia's historic jewels of Cartagena and bizarre Tatacoa Desert provide adventure and discovery. This interesting nation invites you to explore its heritage, culture, and stunning scenery. Take in the sights and sounds, speak with locals, and leave just footprints on a life-changing experience. I hope that today's trip gave you new experiences, precious memories, and infinite happiness. Subscribe to Vacation Limitless today to hear about more amazing trips and life-changing adventures.